Hello, everybody. My name is Saisha Kumar, and I'm presenting from Dallas, Texas. And I'm so excited to share my research with you today. I'll be talking about greenwashing and how effective it is across different, de different demographics across the United States. I was initially interested in this topic due to my active participation in my community, in community service and environmental activism. As I started to develop more of my passion for business, I found this topic to be a great intersection of who I am. Along with my mentor, EC, I have prepared this short elevator pitch for you. Before we start off, we have to define greenwashing. Essentially, greenwashing is the act of a company deceiving their consumers to seem like they are more environmentally sustainable than they actually are. Greenwashing has been consistently on the rise since the 1980s when the climate change movements really started to first take off. Along with the rise of the environmentally conscious consumer came the rise of social media, the internet, and easier access to public knowledge. Prior to this technology, many consumers were in the dark about the truth of the things that they were purchasing. The truth is, greenwashing helps no one. It reduces co consumer faith in corporations and overall lowers the competitiveness of firms in the public sphere. It is so widespread, in fact, that the Terra Choice Environmental Marketing reported that 98% of green marketed products in the US are greenwashed to at least some degree. Greenwashing is ultimately just corporate social responsibility, except only for optics. All in all, greenwashing comes down to consumer perception and perceived risk. Companies tend to make their products visually more appealing to consumers as if they want to make a ch a to who feel as if they want to make a change. They do this by using loads of green packaging and buzzwords to draw in attention. For example, they can incorporate tactics like vagueness and hidden trade-offs to lure consumers in to lure consumers in and to play a role on consumer emotions to encourage them to try to buy more green products. Now, remember how I mentioned the internet earlier? According to a survey by the JFK consulting firm, 58% of Gen Z who seem to be, if so, who seem to engage in the fast fashion greenwashing the most are highly skeptical, skeptical of sustainability claims versus only 44% of baby boomers. This is most likely due to the uses, usage of social media. A study by Yale further tells us that about 62% of college degree holding individuals could easily identify greenwashing and higher earning consumers could do so as well. Currently, most of my conclusions are under works as I still have a long way to go in my project. And it is important to note that much of the research that is done in this field includes a large amount of bias due to clustering and voter um, and uh, due to clustering. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed my topic and I can't wait to learn more, um, learn more myself. Thank you.